Happy Friday evening, YouTube. All right, so I just had to share something that just went down. Getting ready to go out, listen to one of my favorite bands downtown. They have this uh, downtown band series over the summer now, and I'm, I'm like really excited. But all of a sudden there were these two women, very young girls, can't even imagine they might have been 20 <laughs> and they come walking into my neighborhood I have to like back up a minute because a few weeks ago two gentlemen came into my neighborhood I went to talk to one of my neighbors and I was I was because I know what they're doing I know what they're doing they're they're you know they believe that they are going to be you know bringing these poor lost souls to God. They're gonna be bringing these poor lost souls into, into the fold. <laughs> you know how I know all this, you know how, because I was one of them. I was, when I was young, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I was about, I would say I was like 21 and I was on, the campus, actually at Arizona State University. I was um, on my way with my violin and everything. I'm carrying my violin to orchestra and this woman walks up to me and invites me to a Bible study. And this was the beginning of one of the biggest lessons of my life. <laughs> the first thing that I thought was, she doesn't think I'm a Christian. And the truth is, I'm not a Christian like she's a Christian. I mean, I can't even call myself a Christian at this point because I don't believe in the tenets of any of their religion. <laughs> and I was part of this cult, um, which was a movement in the Church of Christ. And I actually ended up going to Boston and everything. And it was like, the, the starters of this cult were from like MIT and and you know, I was sitting there recently thinking about this because I haven't really shared this a lot in my material. And I was thinking about how I had had gone to Boston and people were giving their houses to the church. I started to wonder how much money that the leaders of this church actually accumulated. <laughs> it would be really interesting to know, huh? It was a church that was actually featured on, you know, I don't know, news, like on the TV, on, you know, one of those news programs. But that, that was a while ago, you know, but it was the biggest lesson I ever had because as soon as I started to like really, like examine my life, I realized that it did not, resonate with me whatsoever and when I left they said you're leaving God you're leaving God and you're going to hell because I didn't believe in their ideology and this was the best thing that could have ever happened to me I am so bothered in these days by the Christocracy that is taking over our country. So I see these girls going to this neighbor and I just had to stop them. And I just, I said, please don't come back here. There's a sign that says no soliciting out there. It, it says it right there that you're not supposed to come soliciting. And they said, oh no, we're looking for somebody from our church. And I said, oh really? Oh really? And, and then they realized that the person that they had had we're talking about doesn't live here anymore and so they started to walk out and I said I just had to say I mean I appreciate what y'all are doing but please don't come back please don't <laughs> it's like I got this neighborhood covered I do like they don't know it but I do I send out my energy all the time to this neighborhood this energy of love and light and goodness and health and abundance. It's just as, as soon as you don't believe in their ideology, all the perks go away. All the perks go away. And like they tell you, they give you this line of, of you know, if you accept like the general 
tenets. Like they say, all you have to do is accept Jesus. Although I don't think these were that kind. I think it may have been either Mormon or Jehovah Witness. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you. Although they had like these like great big thick braided strands of hair, like something from the Old Testament. <laughs> I'm sure it was really interesting to see to see me but I asked them to not come back and they looked really like they said did you have any questions I said no I don't have any questions they said well we're not trying to preach I said I don't believe you for one second <laughs> but I can't even tell you how good it felt how good it felt to just stand in my own power <laughs> To stand in my own power, especially in the days, these days recently where I've just been feeling incredibly powerless with everything that's going on. Maybe someday they will remember. I wasn't mean. I was, I was like sanctimoniously nice, which is ridiculous in and of itself. But I wasn't mean. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to go out and have a good night. Go dance. Anyway, I love you guys. And I will be back.